In this FL Studio tutorial, I'm going to show you how to permanently map any MIDI controller to any of your plugins inside of your DAW. And I'll even show you how to permanently link your mixer to your MIDI controller as well. So let's start with stock plugins inside of FL Studio. Here I have 3X Oscillator. So let's say from now on in the future, I want to control the volume of Oscillator 2 with one of the knobs on my MIDI controller. All you would do is just move the knob, go to Tools, go to Last Tweaked, click Override Generic Link, and then move that same knob or slider on your controller. And now you can see that I am in complete control over that knob, and that will forever be there. So when I open up a new 3X oscillator, as long as I have this particular window open, I'll still have control over that same parameter inside of this new 3x oscillator window and that'll be there whether i close fl studio or open it if for some reason you feel like you did that on accident you could always right click and click override generic link again and then just hit reset and accept and now that's no longer mapped a faster way of doing this would be to hit the multi link to controllers option right here so say i wanted to take control of the course knobs inside of 3x oscillator all you would do is hit the multi-link to control button and move each of those course knobs and then go back to the multi-link control button right click it and select overwrite generic links and then you're going to move your first knob your second knob and your third knob then you hit accept and now each of these are permanently linked to 3x oscillator and again if you want to cancel that just click on override generic link reset and accept. It really is the same concept for anything like the channel rack or the mixer. If you want to control each of these faders, click on multi-link control, move each of the faders that you want to control, right click and select override generic links, and then move the faders on your controller one at a time. And now I have forever control over each of those faders with my MIDI controller, if that's what I want. Now, one thing that you might notice, this doesn't work as well with some third-party plugins. I'm going to pull up Ample Guitar Stratocaster, not because this doesn't work with it, but just because it's a third-party plugin. So let's say I want to control the capo right here. So I could change the transposition of the guitar at any moment. What you want to do is go to your browser, click on the middle section where it's your current project, and then select Generators. Under generators, you'll see all of the list of the different channels you have pulled up. Go to the channel that you want to affect, which is Ample Guitar Stratocaster, and you'll see a huge list of MIDI controls. Don't worry, you don't have to scroll through there and just try to find that. All you have to do is just move the control and the control will be highlighted for you. If for some reason it's not highlighting it, it's probably because it's already on the screen. So you want to scroll down and then when you move it, say, for example, if I move panning, it'll take me right over to panning. So from there, you want to right click override generic link like we normally would and move the control on your controller. And then from there, if you want to undo that, you'll have to go back to your capo and your browser and select override generic link, reset and hit accept. So if you have any questions about how to auto map or permanently map any of your MIDI controllers to FL Studio, definitely leave me a comment down below. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.